Hey everyone! In today's video, we're going to be looking at whether or not it's worth adding films to your mechanical keyboard switches. Now a switch film is a little thin piece of plastic that sits in between where the top and the bottom housing of a switch connect. The idea here is it allows you to create a tighter fit up against the switch, as well as produce a different sound, or at least that's what people say. It's also a fairly inexpensive modification that you can do to your switches as it comes at about $6 for around $120 if you purchase from Novel Keys. Now I've been planning a build for the past couple of months here and I wanted to create a video to see whether or not it is worth spending the time and money for Switch Films. I installed Switch Films onto my new Telios V2 switches from Zeal. These are a linear style switch, which means there's no bump or click when you press down the key. It is completely smooth throughout. One thing I noticed right after installing switch films was that the stem inside the housing is a lot more stable. You can sort of see what I mean in this video here, where on the left, the unfilmed switch has a little bit more play in the stem, whereas the one on the right feels a little bit more stable within the housing. For this test, what I've done is I've left a switch completely stock, then I have a second switch in the middle here, which is lubed with Crytox 205 grade zero, and then the third switch on this list I have lubed and filmed. Let's have a listen and see if we can notice a difference. I also performed the same test in the Keychron K8 and the Eidobau ID80. Lastly, I filmed a few of my Zelios tactile style switches to see if there's a difference with this style of switch. I found it interesting that while I thought there was a significant difference with the linear switch being affected with filming, there wasn't as much of a difference when it came to the tactile. I didn't notice as much of a sound signature difference, and in terms of a feel, it was kind of the same all the way through. However, with the linear switch, it was noticeable the feel as well as the sound of the switch being different and, in my opinion, sounding a little bit smoother and a little bit nicer overall with a filmed switch. Now keep in mind, this is a fairly small sample size for myself. However, based on this little test that I've done here, I think it is definitely valuable to film linear switches but maybe up to you when it comes to tactiles. I'm definitely looking forward to trying a few different switches in the future with film and without, just to see if there's any other noticeable differences across brands perhaps, but I hope this video added some clarity to whether or not you should or shouldn't buy Switch Films in the future. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, it'd be super nice of you to throw a thumbs up on the video or consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thanks so much for your support and we'll see you in the next video.